Hey everyone, my name is Mike Dabramani. I'm a Senior Alliance Manager here at GitLab. I am super excited today to present to you how we here at GitLab and HashiCorp are closing and bridging the gap between developers and operators alike through our joint solution. Uh, today I'm joined by Kurt Dusek. Uh, Kurt, do you want to do a quick intro? Yeah, hi. My name is Kurt Dusek. I'm a Channel Solutions Architect with GitLab. Brilliant. Well, super excited to have you with me today. Uh, I know the second half of this talk is going to be much more action focused. We've got an exciting demo uh, to showcase today. Uh, but first, let's start with a little bit of an overview and background kind of level set and really talk about how companies today are software defining their business, right? They find it, it's a lot more of a competitive advantage to be able to react to business trends faster instead of targeting larger milestones or bigger releases over long periods of time. It's much more leaner for the business to be able to react to business trends faster by making smaller and smaller and continuous integrations, right? Constantly iterating and improving in smaller, smaller increments. But to be able to do that, you need to reduce that friction, uh, friction from, hey, I've got an idea and getting into production and everything in the middle. So really, you've got to figure out a way to industrialize your software development lifecycle and your operations, right? You want something that's consistent, automated, and secured at the same time. Uh, but at the end of the day, you could software define and automate as much as you want. But at the end of the day, it's humans that you need to empower, individual contributors, developers, operators, security engineers, all the different personas that are continually invested in improving the business through software defined means, empower them to be collaborative have transparency across different teams and really allow them to self-service themselves as they add more intellectual contributions towards the software, towards the enhancements, and ultimately towards the business. So these are the three themes that we're gonna be focusing on today. And we'll showcase a few of these uh, throughout our, our demo later, later in this talk. But first, let's start with a quick product overview. Uh, for those of you joining us who are not familiar with GitLab or may just know a little bit about GitLab. Uh, we are a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. What that means is we enable businesses and teams to get from idea to production faster. We're a single user interface for developers, engineers, practitioners alike to collaborate and iterate together. What that means is they can do portfolio management, project management, tra tracking issues, use uh, merge requests, basically document their idea and ideate together uh, via communication and then store those ideas in code within source code repositories and projects and then realize that code through automation with CI CD and secure that software before it hits production runtime with security uh, scanning and security functionality built in as well. So really it's a one stop shop to build a comprehensive workflow across your different teams. But when we add HashiCorp to the mix, it adds so much more value for the operational side of the house. Control plane for every layer of the cloud operating model, as HashiCorp puts it. You've got Nomad for the runtime environment. You've got Console for networking and, and service discovery. You've got Vault for secret management. You've got Terraform for provisioning. In this demo, we're going to be mainly concerning ourselves with how GitLab adds, uh, integrates with Vault and leverages Terraform to provide that workflow that we had uh, discussed earlier to really bridge that team, uh, bridge that gap between developers that are focused on app development and application code, and then operators that might be more concerned about operational security with Terraform and or security teams worried about secrets management. And then bridging that gap from uh, CICD to the, to the staging environment, to the dev environment, all the way into production and standardizing that same workflow across the board. So together uh, with HashiCorp and, and GitLab, you know, HashiCorp provides uh, abundant amounts of uh, avenues to collaborate, particularly with their Terraform Cloud uh, service offering. And similarly with GitLab, you've got a single UI where you can communicate via issues, uh, basically a consistent cross-team visibility and self-service user experience between the two products. Uh, so our joint solution really enables collaboration across the different teams, but also automation, right? We kind of touched on this, but as you want to software define your business, infrastructure as code and the underlying fabric that your applications run on, that becomes a crucial uh, crucial focus of, of making sure automation is in place, not just from uh, application delivery standpoint, but for also like managing the life cycle of your infrastructure, maybe as infrastructure as code. 
Uh, so we'll talk about how HashiCorp and GitLab can basically work together to provide and lower that barrier of adoption with infrastructure as code and deploy to almost any deployment platform. And then lastly, security is a huge component as well. We'll briefly touch on security, uh, but together, GitLab provides that application security, making sure there's no vulnerabilities in your applications before they hit any production environment, so you're secure from that perspective. But then you've got Vault that enables security to manage secrets, even whether it's in your you know, multiple pipelines that you're running to continually test and deploy to staging environments, whatever you're doing within your CI/CD component, you can integrate with Vault to manage your secrets similarly on how you would manage uh, your secrets in a production or staging environment with Vault as well. So you're kind of standardizing on Vault across the board. And then lastly, uh, we'll touch on this, but we won't be able to demonstrate it on this demo, but if you're familiar with Terraform's enterprise offering, Sentinel adds a lot of operational guidelines in place with policy as code. So adding security from a consistency and, and governance standpoint, that's where, where Sentinel can add value from their enterprise offerings. Just to give you a quick overview on GitLab as a product, we do have uh, two versions. We have a self-managed version as well as our SaaS version, which is gitlab.com. Both flavors have a free edition, so you can get started for free, whether you wanna host your own instance or you just simply sign up for an account and get started. But as your teams grow, as the collaboration becomes much more paramount across teams and as your business needs more and more visibility on throughput, and security components of, of collaboration and development, that's where we start adding enterprise features like operations and visibility, dashboarding, project planning, as well as security and compliance capabilities. So you can start off with the core edition, which provides CICD and SCM for free, and then grow into the enterprise editions as your team grows and, um, and use cases start proliferating. Similar to GitLab, you've got Terraform. Uh, Terraform also has an open free uh, offering as well, and they have Terraform Cloud as well, which you can simply create an account and get started for free, similar to GitLab.com. But as your teams start growing and uh, Terraform becomes kind of like the de facto standard on provisioning infrastructure and managing the lifecycle, you can start moving up the tiers to paid feature sets like policy and governance, self-service, as well as some of those other functionalities of Sentinel that I had alluded to earlier that's also in their enterprise offerings. Uh, together, GitLab and Terraform, in my opinion, really have a compelling uh, solution on, uh, for both operators and developer, developers alike. Um, so that's kind of where we bring in the cultural aspect of uh, adopting uh, this workflow with GitOps, right? Get triggered workflows. Uh, you predefine automation, and every time that automation's executed consistently and reliably with every change triggered by Git commits. You can store everything in SCM or a Git repository, declare it, declare your cloud operations, declare your application code, and then operationalize that with Terraform via CI CD. Um, so Terraform can build those infrastructures code pipelines. GitLab can kind of provision and build out that workflow within the broader scheme of DevOps. But end to end together with Terraform and, uh, and GitLab and Vault, you get end to end security, whether it's protecting your source code as I alluded to earlier, managing your secrets and or adding guardrails for operational consistency with Sentinel. So here's a quick overview of how uh, some of this can work together where the GitLab repository becomes a single source of truth, enables you to modularize whether it's Terraform plans or the CICD templates. We'll see this live in the demo later today. Uh, also provide you code review, code commit, and code testing. So again, your developers, operators, managers all have visibility to the change in the code that's being uh, evoked for every sprint or every iteration. And then you can manage that approval workflow and trigger CI/CD pipelines for every iterative uh, change that's focused on, uh, on a per merge request basis. So you can get concurrent development uh, as these pipelines are kicking off in parallel. You have visibility across the board concurrently across dev and ops. But at the end of the day, it all starts with a git commit and it follows that gu guiding principle of automation as declared in code in your code repository. So um, infrastructure and code specifically, uh, where Terraform comes into place, this is where you use version control and automation to reduce human error. And this is why Terraform is so crucial and important as you build out your infrastructure's code templates and plans. Uh, Terraform uh, enforces that, whether it's as code or if it's policy as code with Sentinel, you can basically automate pretty much everything uh, from a infrastructure and operational perspective. 
Uh, we do provide open source providers for rapid creation and support for any infrastructure. So that's really exciting. Neither GitLab nor Terraform kind of lock you into any particular cloud vendor. We're pretty cloud agnostic in that regard. Uh, and we do have integrations between the two products, uh, some of which you'll see in the demo. So I'll give you a quick high level workflow of what the demo is gonna look like, and then I'll pass it to Kirk to kind of dive into the details. Uh, but essentially from bird's eye view is the app and the developer, uh, excuse me, the app developer and the cloud operator working together around a GitLab project where they continually collaborate and iterate and make Git commits. So basically the code is evolving over time. And as things evolve, you get merge request, which is this concept of, hey, this is an isolated change, this is an isolated bit of work associated with the Git project repository. So any change is contextually bubbled up within the merge request for both teams or any team have visibility to what's being done, whether the changes to the code, the outputs of CICD pipelines, or just collaborating as if they're chatting on, on, on conversation. And then every merge request uh, commit has an associated pipeline associated with it. So you have that consistent workflow automation then ultimately deploying to your target deployment preference, uh, whichever cloud it may be. In this case, you'll see it'll be Google GKE. Uh, throughout the end of the process, throughout the end of the end to end, in, in the workflow, you'll have dashboard visibility in, in GitLab from an operational and security standpoint, similarly with HashiCorp, uh, particularly if you're using Terraform Cloud. So Kurt, I'll pass it to you and take a break and kind of get into nitty gritty detail on how, how this workflow really pans out. This is a workflow that shows GitLab working as a base of collaboration between developers and cloud operators to manage their respective repositories, as well as leveraging the strengths of Terraform and Vault. If we double click on this, we can see that it all starts with git commits and merge requests. The developer can make their code changes and submit that as a merge request. Now from this merge request, I can invite others to collaborate around these changes, whether they're cloud operators, security analysts, or my own leadership. So perhaps I need a new storage resource like an S3 bucket to store some data. As a cloud operator, they can go and take this requirement, define it as a Terraform resource within the infrastructure repository, and automatically provision and manage that resource based on whatever infrastructure policy we'd like to implement. In addition to GitLab's integration with Terraform, the integration with Vault allows organizations to significantly automate the secrets management process. Developers can commit their code and trigger pipelines within GitLab and then authenticate within Vault via JSON web tokens. GitLab passes a token to Vault that includes the group and project info, repository, branch, and author data. And so this will allow your Vault administrators to easily create policies for secrets that mirror your development process. So if you're utilizing merge request approvals and protected branches within GitLab, you can create robust policies to control access to secrets in Vault. All right, so let's see this live. So here we have a sample web app, and we can see that this is our production deployment, and basically it's just an app that lets us vote on these two options, either birds or lizards. And so let's say we have a change in one of our requirements where our product owner wants us to change the polling options from birds and lizards to say dogs and cats. And let's say a developer has gone ahead and made those changes in our code and submitted those changes in the form of a merge request. So here we have the merge request, and really a Part of this is that we've, we've been able to run a pipeline, and if we go into what this pipeline is, we see we've run a dependency scan, um, we've been able to package the application as a container, and then we've deployed that container to a special infrastructure that allows us to internally review this build. And so that's useful for the broader team to review these changes in a staging environment and add their feedback directly into the merge request. So, if I'm viewing this merge request and I have the approval rights here, I'll need to give that approval before this change can be pushed, pushed into our master branch and deployed to production. So I'm gonna give my approval and that gives me the option to actually perform the merge. So if I start this merge, it'll actually kick off another pipeline. And we can go into this and see how it's different. So in addition to the normal stages, we have a Terraform stage which is actually a child pipeline that contains our Terraform plan and apply stages. If we had Sentinel configured, we could have a dedicated stage here in our pipeline. And alternatively, if you're using Terraform Cloud for Enterprise, that comes built in. So while this pipeline is running, let's have a look at how we've configured the app. 
if we view our GitLab CI file, we can see our entire CI configuration here. So here we see the same stages that we saw in the pipeline, and below that is a block of includes. And below that is some additional configuration where we set host names and conditions on when our pipelines run. And we also see this Terraform job. And this is what's triggered that Terraform child pipeline. And we can see that it references our voting app infrastructure project. Now this file isn't very large, it's only about 50 lines. And if we look at this include block, we see that we're calling in a lot of files from this voting app infrastructure project. So let's have a look at this project. If we look at the base CI for our infrastructure project, we can see our defined uh, Terraform plan and Terraform apply stages are referenced here. We can also look at our GitLab CI template directory and open our CI deploy file. Here we can see that the vault token is being set with a single call into the vault instance and passing this CI job JWT variable. So from there, we have a token that's available to be used by this job to extract secrets and pass them directly into kube control to deploy the application. Also in this repository, you can store policies as code with Sentinel to consistently implement governance. In the same way Terraform allows implementing infrastructure as code, Sentinel policies define rules that restrict provisioning of resources by Terraform configurations. These policies can be evoked in the pipeline to ensure consistency and security. So what we can do is define jobs that adhere to best practice and store them in a single repository. From there, your development teams can include those files and immediately add automation and best practice patterns around infrastructure and secret management to their own projects. So we've totally isolated infrastructure provisioning and secrets management from the developer. And at the same time, developers have the ability to request those changes into that infrastructure. They can do that either by making changes and opening a merge request within the infrastructure project directly, or by creating an issue and documenting those changes they need and allowing the operators who manage the infrastructure repo to implement those changes for them. So brilliant. Uh, so glad we got to see some of this live. So let's just do a quick recap on some takeaways, right? Uh, as you saw, both um, GitLab and Terraform really provide developers and operators with greater flexibility, security, and really end-to-end -end automation as things are defined in code and operationalized through automation via CICD and Terraform pipelines. Uh, what you saw today is doable in the cloud as well with our SaaS offerings. So Terraform Cloud and GitLab.com work very well together to provide an equal uh, experience, as you had seen in this demo, uh, for anyone who's willing to get started and not have to manage about self-managing an instance. So we are cloud native. We have cloud native options. We have SaaS offerings as well. We are cloud agnostic. Uh, so what you saw today was actually GCP underneath the hood, but that doesn't mean you can't do the same with AWS or Azure or many other providers as well. Uh, and that really gives you a little bit of advantage as well as you start diversifying your investments in different deployment preferences. You get to pick and choose the best of any infrastructure provider uh, and really utilize that with a standardized developer platform with, with Terraform and HashiCorp stack. That doesn't necessarily lock you into any particular vendor or cloud. Everything you saw today was code driven. Um, GitLab and HashiCorp both are striving to provide teams with a GitOps experience, starting with infrastructure as code, but many other things can be codified as well. Uh, and lastly, we briefly mentioned and briefly saw some of this in the CICD pipeline if you're looking closely, but security is, you know, you can embed security within the workflow through code as well, whether it's scanning your code or if it's managing your secrets or if you're using uh, Sentinel, you know, defining those operational policies as well with Terraform. So really, together, HashiCorp and GitLab are lowering the barrier to industrializing the application development and delivery process across the entire application lifecycle, allowing companies and organizations to be much more nimble and iterate quickly. To get started, uh, check out Terraform Cloud and GitLab.com. It's the easiest way to get started. All you have to do is create an account for free, and you can start collaborating across your Dev and Ops teams today. So check us out. I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for joining and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks. Cheers.